Replicable Highest Good Communities. One Community Weekly Progress Update number 216. One Community is a 501c3 nonprofit organization. We are creating open source and free shared blueprints and resources, tools and tutorials, and do it yourself instructions for highest good living. Creating solution models that create additional solution creating models in the service of all life on this planet. My name is Jay Sable. I'm the executive director of the One Community 501c3 nonprofit organization. This is our weekly progress update number 216, May 14, 2017 edition. And this week's topic is replicable highest good communities. What replicable highest good communities are is what one community is creating. We are bringing together people with the consciousness for the highest good of all, people that want to do the best that they can for all life on this planet, for all of humanity, for the future that we all share. And we are creating open source, do it yourself, tools, tutorials, resources, and instructions for all aspects of what we call highest good living. And what that is, is shown in the background here. It's happening right here in the background of your screen. This is everything that our team has created, and this is how we're creating replicable highest good communities. Our idea is that if we can make the whole thing easy enough, affordable enough, and demonstrate everything that we do is attractive enough, this model for sustainable living, we can show that sustainable living is a great way to go, not only individually, but for large scale operations as well. And one community is meant to be that replicable highest good community model purpose specifically to teach people how to develop something similar in their own lives. We want to make sustainability and world change accessible to everybody. And so our entire project is about clearing away the roadblocks, clearing away the mystery and identifying the specifics, the details, the minute little pieces, every element necessary to replicate everything needed to create a self-sufficient and self-sustainable community, but also replicable as individual components. So people can take the pieces, that, the pieces that they want and replicate those as well. And through these replicable highest good communities, we believe that we can create transformation, measurable global transformation within our lifetime. It might take us 20 or 30 years, but we believe that within our lifetime that we can positively impact everybody on the planet in some way. And the way that we'll do that is through this idea of replicable highest good communities self-replicating. If we make them easy enough, affordable enough, and demonstrate them as attractive enough and create it all open source and free shared so people can do things differently, so people can do things the way that they want to do things, not necessarily just the way that we're doing them, but so that we create a foundation for replicating everything that is that we're doing that's easy enough, affordable enough, and attractive enough so that the idea starts to spread on its own, and then we'll allow human ingenuity to do the rest. And this is what One Community is all about. And so what you see happening on the screen right here is our focus which is food, energy, housing, education, fulfilled living models, true earth stewardship, as well as high school economic models, and everything necessary to put it all together in one place so that people can come and visit what a replicable highest good community is, experience what it is, take the aspects they like and replicate them, and if they like the entire model, go and build their own version of a highest good community, whatever that looks like for them. Hopefully with the intent for the highest good, but maybe just for self-serving reasons, it doesn't really matter because we believe that if we create everything that we're creating with the concept of highest good, doing our absolute best to do our best, doing our best to create something that is to the best of our ability, good for everyone, good for all life on this planet. We believe that that's a step in the right direction. And if we can make it open source, and if we can free share it, and we can make it replicable as either the individual components or as the complete model, then we think that that is a step in the right direction that when anybody adopts it, when anybody uses it, even if they use it for different reasons, is still a step in the right direction compared to the way that we're living right now. And through this idea of replicable highest good communities, if one community of 20 people or 50 people can inspire two more communities to start within the first year, and then four more communities to start within the second year, and then eight more communities to start within the third year. And if we can achieve our goal of making it easy enough and replicable enough through open source, and this model continues, 
we can create a foundation of sustainable and self-sufficient communities that can change the socioeconomic model that the world sees as normal right now. We can build a foundation of sustainable infrastructure, of sustainability hubs working together, collaborating and cooperating instead of competing to create the world that we all know is possible. And inviting anybody who wants to to participate and anybody who doesn't want to doesn't have to participate. So we see this as the ultimate win-win solution for everyone. And our goal is to address all the different foundations necessary to create a completely sustainable civilization, to open source and free share those as those individual components that can be replicated as the complete model as well. So people will take what they want, but so that we're addressing all of the foundations of the challenges that humanity is facing right now. Education, food, energy, housing, fulfilled living models so that people have a more enriched and fulfilled life, so people are having more time and people that they want to be around, sharing their values to create an environment that is that most people find to be better, more loving, more cooperative, more collaborative, more in integrity with their entire existence, with their, with their entire uh, external environment, with everything surrounding them, so that it's something that people want. So it's something that people are excited to participate in. It's something that people are excited to create. And in creating that self-sufficiency and that sustainability, they have the freedom to be able to help others to create it as well. And so through creating a global cooperation and collaboration of replicable highest good communities, we want to touch the lives of everybody. It doesn't mean that everybody needs to live in a community like this, but it means that the ripple effect of creating hundreds and thousands eventually of these communities can reach out and touch the lives of everybody. So this is what we're doing. This is how we're doing it every single week. And now let's jump into the updates. Take a look at everything that we've been creating and that we are creating. Here's one week of our progress. Thanks. The one community approach to highest good housing is eco-artistic home building that is affordable, sustainable, do-it-yourself duplicable, resource and space efficient, and consists of seven different sustainably constructed village models. This week, the core team, which includes the pioneer members plus those helping who don't wish to be individually acknowledged, created 30 more pages related to the open source hubs from each of the seven villages. You can see some examples of these new pages here. We also finished the demo set of structures and layouts for the standardized AutoCAD layers and line weights template and tutorial. This week's focus was final edits and fixes and adding labels to the entire furniture and symbols section. In addition to this, and working on the Earthbag Village, we created these two top view rendered images with different furniture options for the three dome cluster. We used the student furniture, children's furniture, and Murphy bed furniture with the bed in both the up and down position. Ashwini Ramesh, civil engineer and project manager, and the core team also put another combined total of 10 more hours into the Earthbag Village research for the crowdfunding campaign. Here's a snapshot of this work happening behind the scenes on the site selection, preparation, and maintenance tutorial. Elena Thompson, mechanical engineer, completed her 13th week helping with the net zero communal bathroom designs. This week's focus was addressing the need for a plumbing pocket, fixing layout details, and updating the piping. Christian Ojeda, mechatronic engineer, completed his 14th week helping with the heat recycling communal eco shower and vermiculture bathroom designs. This week's focus was more septic research comparing purchased to self-poured septic systems. Fernando Rimolina, industrial engineer specializing in project management, and Lin Zhu, mechanical engineering student, also continued with their 17th week of work on the vermiculture bathroom development. This week's focus, as shown here, was further exploring emptying options. You can see more of Christian's septic tank design work. Dean Schulz, architectural designer, continued helping us create quality Cobb Village Pod 3 renders. Here is update 68 of Dean's work that created this final view of the northeast wing looking west, this view looking southwest, and this view looking east. Hamilton Matika, AutoCAD and Revit drafter and designer, also finished his 40th week helping with the compressed earth block village Pod 4 design and render details. This week's focus was working on the landscaping details in the north, as shown here. Aparna Tandon, architect, continued her work on the compressed earth block village external elements. 
What you see here is her 23rd week of work focusing on converting last week's hand drawings for Zone 9 into the AutoCAD drawings you see here. And Guy Grossfeld, graphic designer, continued helping with the updates to the Treehouse Village Pod 7 furniture and building textures, as shown here. One community is also creating an open source duplicable city center. It is designed to be LEED Platinum certified, provide 12 guest rooms, dining for over 150 people, and laundry and recreation space for over 300 people, all while saving money, time, space, and resources. Dipti Dondurker, electrical engineer, continued with her 36th week of work on the lighting specifics for the city center. This week's focus was finishing the lighting analysis and placement for the living dome hallways, updating the dining dome zones, and beginning to model the complete social dome. Hayes Lay, structural engineer, and Shuna Nee, Masters of Mechanical Engineering and Civil Engineering PhD, also continued their work on the city center structural engineering. This week's focus was version 2.0 of selecting the different connectors we'll be using throughout the structure and continuing to run wind calculations. Ramya Vudi, electrical engineer, and Shubham Agrawal, electrical engineer, continued their work on the city center energy details with Mike Hogan, automation systems developer and business systems consultant. This week's focus was on critical versus non-critical systems differentiation and more edits to the tutorials. Hen and Dante's mechanical engineer continued with his 17th week working on the duplicate city center AutoCAD updates. This week's focus was repositioning doors based on the new dome geometry and adding in shower details and surrounding plant details for the natural pool. Jin Yu, structural engineering designer, also completed her 12th week working on the concrete foundation details. This week's focus was revisions and writing more content for the city center footers, foundations, and flooring tutorial. You can see examples of this behind the scenes work here. Bomzi Pulagurtha, mechanical engineer, also completed his fourth week of work helping with the city center basement finite element analysis. This week's focus was the second generation calculations and heat transfer visualizations as shown here. Ashwin Patil, web developer, also continued helping develop the new search engines for our site. This week's work was returning to development of the Duplical City Center search engine you can see here and recreating it based on the new pages and format. One community's approach to highest good food is duplicable almost anywhere, scalable for different needs, more biodiverse and nutritious, part of forwarding a global open source botanical garden collaborative, and includes nine different free shared and duplicable growing environments. This week, the core team created two new images for the Sustainable Food Nutrition Calculations page, as you see here. One community's approach to highest good education is open source and free shared, designed for all age groups, adaptable to any schooling environment, inspiring and fun for all participants, a learner, teacher, collaborative, and it includes U.S. Common Core Standards. This week, the core team completed the final 25% of the mind map for the reality lesson plan, as you can see here, and continued the process of a final proofreading and editing of all 52 lesson plans. This week, we completed the spring lesson plan and the summer lesson plan. This brings us to 18 of 52 finished, which is approximately 34% completion. We also continued working on the renders for the ultimate classroom. This week, we added new people and other aesthetic details to create these seven new final renders. Guy Grossfeld, graphic designer, also continued adding people and elements from the learning tools and toys research we've done to create this final render of the ultimate classroom yellow room. The one community approach to highest good society is globally focused, individually enriching, cooperative and collaborative, includes a highest good network and application, four different economic models, and combines fulfilled living and true earth stewardship for the benefit of all people and all life on this planet. Samya Manahar, software engineer, web developer, and net application developer, and Jonah Lewis, software developer, completed their collective fourth week of work on the Highest Good Network. This week's focus, some of which you can see here, was creating a time log model and API integration and a function to auto-populate a blank database. Well, that's what we're up to. This is what our project has done in the last week, and you've seen a good overview of everything that we are working together to create. Just a reminder that we are a 100% volunteer organization. 
So nobody's paid for anything that's happening here. We're all volunteers creating this because for a variety of different reasons, but for the core team, it's because we really want to live this way. We want to see a world that truly works for everybody, and we believe that we can create that. So thanks for watching to the end. If you'd like more details, more specifics, links to all the open source content, you can visit our written blog. Also, if you'd like to see an email every time one of these updates comes out, you can subscribe to our YouTube channel, or you can follow us through social media, or you can send an email to onecommunityupdates at gmail.com, and we will add you to our newsletter list and uh, send you an email every week when one of these comes out. Also, uh, I always like to say thank you. Thank you for everybody that follows our progress. Thank you for everyone who likes or shares our videos and the different posts that we make on social media. It really does help a lot. Thanks for all the donations that we get. The small donations make a big difference. Like I said, none of us are paid for what it is that we're doing. So the small donations help cover the fees and expenses and everything that's associated with running a global organization like ours. Even though the team is 100% volunteer, there's still a lot of expenses in maintaining a website like ours and keeping everything running. So thanks for the donations and everything that contributes to that. And again, I can't say it enough. Thanks for watching to the end. Till next week, we will, of course, keep on keeping on. Thanks.